I am very excited because I am at my studio and very shortly the lights are going to be done. So that means I need to get everything cleared away, ready for the lights to be put up. And then that means once the lights are in, then I can give everything a really good deep clean, just put the last like a few bits and bobs out. And then I've had also a delivery today of the new yoga mat. So I will be putting those out in the studio once the lights are up. So um, yeah, today is like all go. So ready for the lights being done. I'm gonna start to clear the space, put everything away, get organized, get ready. Yeah, and then get cleaning and tidying and organizing after. Gosh, I get so excited. <laughs> studio for shavasana massages i love to use the neon real luxury body oil and in the diffusers i love to use the white company spa restore oil the diffusers are in the studio space but i wanted to also get another scent for kind of like when you walk up the stairs into the studio and then also in the in the sit sitting room like in the living room and so i got a new reed diffuser i have not smelt this one before but i have got this brand at home it was a gift that i got sent a while ago now and the scent is so lovely but so potent and stays like really strong whereas i sometimes find some reed diffusers just don't really last so I went with this one because I really like the colour of the pot. So we'll see what that one smells like. And then I also wanted something for when I do a meditation practice because I don't do any Shavasana massages in that class. I wanted to have like a, a spray and I got this one also from the same brand from Airy, which is heavily meditated. Again, not sure what the scent's like, the reviews looks good. So let's have a little look to see what these are like. We'll have a little smell to see what these are like. How cute is that? That's so lovely, isn't it? Very happy I went with that choice. I mean, I don't know what it smells like yet. See, what I really like about it as well is you get this huge bottle and there's loads left over after filling it in that. And then I think the bottle's quite pretty as well, just with some bead diffusers in that as well. Ready for the grand reveal. That is good. Oh, that is nice. Yay! Good choice. Okay, and let's have a little spritz. This is frankincense, patchouli, have I said that right? And thyme over notes of eucalyptus, cedar, cinnamon, and bay. I don't know if I flip my hair like I said, I'm putting perfume on. That is nice. Oh, that's lovely. What I like as well is that they are all kind of different scents, but will all hopefully blend in quite nicely together. Really happy with that. It's a
big coat is back out again. It is absolutely chucking it down. I have just nipped to Ikea because I ran out of, well, I didn't get enough lampshades for the studio. And so I'm just heading that down there now and this should then hopefully be finished today. And then I'm gonna do a deep clean, put everything back and I can't wait to show you. surprised myself as well. <laughs> Sorry for not hanging out with you much. And the last time, I think it was Thursday, I might have vlogged. I can't even remember. And it's Sunday today. But basically, is all I've been doing is cleaning. Um, today, hopefully, will be the final day because that means the lights are going to be finished. So I just need the kitchen and the bathroom finishing off today um, with the lights. You know, you know what I'm like, like if I like something, <laughs> I go all in the it's, it's everywhere then. Like my style is very specific and there is no variety to it depending on spaces. But I, but I like that, I like that. It makes me very happy. So that will be done this afternoon. So yeah, we do like a final big clean. There are a few other bits that do need doing, but the lights were I think like the main thing that I needed to get done um, that will make the biggest difference inside the other bits, just like little odd, odd bits and bobs that I need to do. As it is a Sunday, that means reflection and planning time for next week. That is all done. I've got a really lovely week ahead a busy one and so I feel a lot more grounded now that I've done that because I think if we don't do things like get organised and plan things in we don't actually realise then just how tight time is at certain parts of our week so there's times when I thought like oh I had more time to do things and I don't it's quite a tight week really good week so yeah feeling organised ready for that and now I'm just ready to head out a little bit and then I come back home, get changed, and then head down to the studio to do that big clean. need to hoover the stairs and then I'm going to do like a carpet cleaner thing on them and then that'll be it that can be drying until I'm back here to teach. I was just so excited to, to show you everything I'm going to wait until so I've got a few more bits to do then I'll do like a full studio tour when everything is done but um, the lights are complete. I feel so, so happy with them. And I'm really, really glad that I made the decision to, to make that change. Good morning. It is not good night. <laughs> so dark outside. It is nearly six o'clock. I have been up since a normal time at five. 
and this like last week I have found it so much easier to wake up for some reason at that time so yeah I've been doing my normal five o'clock wake up but I have been going swimming at around six o'clock and I'm back home for at seven and I'm just finding that that's just fitting in so much better with my routine and I found like just like the last few weeks a bit of a struggle to get the swimming in where I was like just fitting it in at this time just um kind of just flies in with with more ease and actually going swimming really early in the morning is kind of how I used to do it when I was younger I used to train competitively and we would swim before school so it's just kind of like tapping into very 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 old ways of being and yeah I'm surprised at how much I've like just kind of slipped into it I thought that it'd be quite a, a challenge first but anyway this is the second week doing it so I'm gonna get going to me it's probably worth mentioning that I've been doing a morning routine for a very long time now and so doing like my asana meditation journaling reading in the morning is something that I've worked out a very long time so adding on the swimming in the morning isn't is I'm able just to focus more on that whereas I think sometimes what happens is when we try and create like a new routine or something we try and do too much and then we feel really overwhelmed so it's all that's changed with this difference is that I've just added the swimming on and like I said it just kind of fits it flows it's more easeful doing it at this time in the day and but also like another tip which I would say is just to make sure that you're flexible with it and not rigid and this is when we can really take yoga off the map by you're not getting so rigid and fixed with something and instead tap into more of like our fluidity our flexibility and just allow yourself to grow in the present moment just because you've always done something doesn't mean to say that's a way of always being and you know and I've really made some changes just recently due to like the the seasonal changes um you know finding it quite hard to wake up earlier try and finding it harder like to get things in in the afternoon as my energy would start to drop off and things so yeah this this then might change but for now it's working it's flowing and so maybe I encourage you to do a little bit of reflection practice of Svadhyaya after this vlog and you know just kind of think like what isn't in alignment right now and what maybe needs to change and what small changes can you make to make that change a reality and I just want to highlight that ease and just kind of coming into more of a flow state doesn't mean that you don't have to work for it it doesn't mean that it's easy and I think this is sometimes maybe where we don't even let ourselves like step into new ways of being or step into what lights us up or we kind of wait for motivation to occur but Really, I would say it's more discipline we want to tap into, which is a practice called in, in yoga that we call tapas. And it's all done like soulfully, but it's like, you know, it's not easy to get out of bed when it's so dark outside. It's not easy to get out of bed when it's so snowy and warm and it's, you know, not so warm when you get out of bed. And in those moments, like reminding ourselves of that higher intention of the reason why we're doing it, the kind of tone that we want to set for our day and that kind of energy that we want to bring into our day so I know for me personally the kind of energy that I want to show up in I want to share is from that comes from the getting out of bed when it's hard and the you know it's it's like raining right now and yeah of course like the path of the the path of least resistance would be to stay at home but I know that doing this like makes me makes me feel really good and kind of really revives my energy maybe not like in that initial moment but it's it's again just not kind of almost like in that self-sabotaging part of ourselves in that moment <clears throat> trying to stop us because um yeah if you are someone that is going to bed at night and you're like 
this is what I want to do the next day. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. That's how I'm going to show it up. And then in the morning, obviously, then environmental surroundings are more challenging. You need to remind yourself of that version then who set those intentions because that version of you that's going to wake up in the morning, who is going to be your sleepier self, isn't going to be making the best decisions. And that's when you need to kind of think that's not the version of you that you want to listen to. You want to step into the version of yourself that's like, a higher vibrational version of yourself not the self-sabotaging one so yeah it's not that it's easy and the and your actual like i said will always as human beings take the path of least resistance it's not always our right path and actually we are diving into all of that in the soul care club this month the theme of brahmacharya this direction of our energy and how we want our energy to flow and show up in life anyway on that note i i'm gonna get swimming <laughs> And so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you as always for hanging out with me. And next week I've got quite a, a few lovely things on. Today it's Monday and today's the day I'm going to the co-working clubhouse. So I'll be taking you along with me and that will be in next week's vlog. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to hanging out with you in the next week.